Well, so my crypto legends, in this episode, we need to take a look again at this potential bump and run scenario happening for Bitcoin. It is still very, very possible. We're just getting a huge retest here and getting a major dip. But as you can see on the pattern that this is totally normal, we might be dipping even lower from here and then having another retest very, very soon. We're going to take a look at this potential scenario in this episode. OK, and also we're going to take a look at Bitcoin on the one hourly still like in this descending channel. OK, getting a little bit of fake out to as you can see on the resistance where are we going to break through to the upside or to the downside we're going to take a look at the potential targets here and also check out the bitcoin sensor website we have the latest articles this one is, is cardano about to plunge here is what charles hoskinson has to say and if you scroll down you can see here the veteran and trader peter brandt you know talking about cardano maybe in a potential going to have a potential dip here in the next coming weeks because litecoin formed a similar pattern in 2018 and had a severe drop and then you have Charles Hoskinson's opinion here on this TA. Make sure to check it out, guys. It is totally free information here on the website. Link down below. We're going to take a look at Ethereum because Ethereum has a bullish case scenario and a bearish case scenario. Remember, we have been running up from here. We've been breaking the, uh, up the major resistance of 2,400. I think it might hold, but there is signs here that the bulls are losing a little bit of steam. I can see potentially here also a head and shoulder scenario. We're going to take a look at this because if we break the neckline, we are going to go down to lower levels. We're going to take a look at this in today's episode. And remember, if you're an experienced trader, Bybit has got the best bonus available here down below. If you click the link in the description, you're getting $1,610 worth of bonus depending on what you're depositing. Prime XBT is my favorite day trading platform. If you use my link in the description, you're getting 50% added to your deposit by using Bitcoin Census 50 as the promotion code. I've got a tutorial on both exchanges down in the description said this let's dive in straight into the video hello there andy here welcome back to bitcoin census if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe daily ta on bitcoin ethereum i also do live streams to connect with the community so make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell i'm not a financial advisor don't buy or sell anything that i say if you do so do your research let's dive in straight into the chart all right just a quick overview on this potential pattern that we've talked about here for a couple of times here last week and also the week before that and um, just when we were having this run up and we actually got a major major rejection here from the resistance of these lower highs now what we want to see here in the next coming days or potentially weeks is that the price here maybe can go a little bit lower and then potentially come all the way back up to retest again this major resistance okay and what we need to do is finally break it at some point this might happen next week two weeks if we do because if we get another rejection then this is not going to be looking very very good for this potential pattern to play out but if we break out the resistance and turn it into support this is going to be extremely bullish okay guys as soon as we have a bounce from here and breaking the high from the actual breakout then this is going to confirm that this pattern is a reversal and all-time highs is very very possible here for september or november depending on when we are going to break out eventually so this is what we got for this potential bump and run scenario we need to see what is going to happen breaking the resistance turning it into support is going to be very very exciting here for some potential swing trades in the, the long run so let's take a look at the price of btc here on the one hourly because it's been a very very boring couple of days as you can see right over here we are still in this descending channel here that we created yesterday we were taking a look at this potentially being a descending wedge or yes you know in between a descending wedge and a descending channel but there's just been a lot of fake outs here as you can see on the one hourly price is just going sideways there's no major volume and if you connect the wicks here we can hear technically uh, we can see technically that we are still in this uh, descending channel formation and this could still go on for the next few hours now what we want to see here is potentially the price of B BTC could have a severe drop from the current levels. Now, while I'm recording, it's at $37,880. We can still dip here and still be inside of the channel going down to the $36,000. $400. This is where we have a next major support range, as you can see. And if we zoom out on the one hourly chart, we do have this peak right over here. 
we called this perfectly on the channel that if we did dip we were going to get a nice bounce from the $36,400 range and we did as you can see so this is going to be eventually some type of support and we will still be in this descending channel so there's still no danger but if we did break the descending channel the measured move is the width of the channel okay and from the breakout depending on when we are going to break out because this channel could go here for ages at least the support range you know uh, all depending it is very very unreliable at this stage uh, to know when we are going to break out but this could take us all the way down to the 34.5k um, range okay and if we break up from current levels now we are retesting the resistance more than we are retesting the support so this could have a nice leg up to the $39,200 range approximately this is where we're going to find this next major resistance we've been bouncing here as support very nicely we did have this fake out of it came straight back up and as you can see as soon as we got above again then this was um, a retest as support finally breaking out as you can see here on the chart so this would be the next major level if we do break resistance here in the next coming hours very very possible remember for experienced traders on Bybit you can get up to $1610 by using my link in the description I get a small commission you get the best bonus available guys it is a win Win -win. Now let's take a look at the price of Ethereum because Ethereum here is looking okay. We were looking if we zoom out on the four hourly chart, this is still what we are looking for. Okay, the target of $2,900 because of this double bottom scenario. But the price is lo looks like that it is getting a little bit exhausted. Okay, we do have some massive bearish divergence on the four hourly making the RSI, you know, um, lower highs and the price action making higher highs exaggerated. Okay, as you can see here on the chart, but it is not all bad news for Ethereum because the good thing about this is that we are seeing hidden bullish divergence. This means that the trend is very, very likely to continue. So it's very, very confusing. We can see the RSI here making lower lows slightly, okay, and the price action making higher lows very, very exaggerated. So this could be um, that the, the price of Ethereum is going to have a massive bounce from current levels and we're going to go higher. So something to pay attention here on the one hourly chart and this might not happen because we are getting supported very, very nicely. I may I put a trend line here from the wicks right over there uh, on these wicks also and it does look like that we are forming you know a head and shoulder pattern right over here as you can see on the chart so if we did break this neckline uh, as you can see on the chart then this would take the price of ethereum to lower levels i am hoping that this might be a fake out so we want to see a confirmed breakout going well below the two thousand four hundred dollars because this could easily be a fake out why you may ask yourself because we do have major major resistance turning into support here so we just might see a fake out and then come back up again but now the price action is seem it seems like it is pretty pretty healthy if we do get a bounce from here, then this is, will be absolutely great. This would be the bullish case scenario. Coming back up to retest here this resistance range where we were having some um, bounces here as resistance. Now, if we do break here this um, neckline and then come back down and break the breakout here, $2,400 range, the measured move from this head and shoulder scenario with this ascending neckline um, um, trend line as you can see this could take the price all the way back down to the two thousand two hundred and twenty dollar area as you can see here from the measured move of this head and shoulder this is a potential scenario but be careful there could be some fake outs because two thousand four hundred is a major major resistance turned into support as you can see here on the chart so make sure to stay very very cautious said this guys this is going to be it for today's episode bitcoin census website check it out there we have free information here on technical analysis articles news make sure to check it out the link is in the description if you haven't seen my prime xbt or my bybit tutorial to learn how to trade on those exchanges video on the screen right now thank you for tuning in and i'll see you later in the live stream <laughs>